God orchestrates the life of a Christian in such a way that they are going to face giants and fears very often and they have to trust in God to help them overcome this giant foe called Satan, demons, the world, all the different aspects of the world, social dynamics, overcoming emotions, Sometimes emotions are the devil trying to get you to stop doing something that God wants you to do. The devil will put fear upon you. Don't do this. Something bad's going to happen. But when you do it, you realize that there's was nothing to fear. So a lot of times we have false ideas about our giants. Giants aren't as scary as they appear to be. Our fears aren't as bad as they appear to be. Um, God has revealed to me that our fears are our best friends. When we embrace our fears and get past our fears, we enter into so much glory with Christ, a closer relationship with God, and it's beautiful. So face your fears, face your giants, all right? But only do it because you know that Christ is with you, all right? And as you go down the hallway, the, the hallway of battle, and once you get past that hallway of battle and fight, then past all the demons, past the fears, you enter into a room of glory and rest and nourishment where the angels minister to you and where you're built, the, built up and lifted up by God into the secret place of the Most High. So it's, it's important to face your fears. Even if, they, if God's putting something on your heart and you have to do it, just do it and you'll realize it wasn't such a big deal at all. There's things that I was afraid of doing for years and I did them and nothing bad happened. I actually got good results so you know the world's deceptive. But trust and depend on God to help you get through these. You can't do it on yourself by yourself. You cannot face these giants. The devil is hardcore. He's he's a he was the chief angel in the heaven. He has power. And you can't take him on without Jesus. Alright, that's all I have to say. But with Jesus, you can wipe him out with your pinky.